Our sliding back door is broken. Actually, the latch is broken right here, or it was. And so what we're going to do is, because this was sliding over, and uh, it was letting the bugs through here, because when you close the other side, this is a three-panel uh, sliding. Specifically a wasp, and that's the wasp. only reason why we found this out, because a wasp started flying around the house, and uh, we noticed that this door was actually open. Like by that, so we've been losing energy. Yeah, so it's actually uh, reduced our energy and in, in, uh, efficiency. We had no idea. We had wasps, all kinds of cool stuff. So we went. So we don't use this side. No. We use that side. Yeah. So this and, side never gets used. And this is three doors away from that side. So yeah. if we slid that one too far and then we closed it, it would pull this one loose because the latch is broke. I don't know how long the latch was broke. We could have, we could have had burglars in here or Golly. or stray animals. How did it happen? That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> so did somebody trying to break into my house when I wasn't home. Yeah, but it was. I don't a, think so. We live in a pretty good neighborhood. We do. Yeah. But it was actually broken too, and we actually fixed this latch with JB Weld. So either if you can fix it, it's great. I'll show you the pieces of it, or if you have to JB Weld it, I'll show you what we could to fix that. Our dog is just running around in circles she's, out here. Yeah, she's going to play here now. So y'all stay tuned, and we'll get right into this. Wiping the Jeep. Yeah, you just slept on everything. The whole floor, man. I can't <laughs> set that thing Okay, we didn't have to move the exhaust. We didn't have to jack up. We didn't have to do anything. Look at that. <laughs> so, with the backlatch not working on this door, I don't know how long this has been broken. I, it won't, when you sometimes go over there and, and you would close the door, I was wondering, we had a wasp come in the house and I couldn't figure out why we had that. But this door was not locking. So it's this latch dilly. And so I'm gonna take it apart and see what's wrong with it. And these, uh, you can either replace them or I'm gonna see if I can fix it. But this right here is like loose in here, and I don't know why. So let's take it out. So with your door open, you have to take these screws out, top and bottom. Be sure to hold the back, because it will come off. And then the back, like I said, it'll fall off, and the front. Now, to get the front out, you still have this latch deal right here. So you have to kind of turn it, and you can get it out, just like that. So it's out. Now with that out, I'm going to use my wife's dish towel to clog the hole. So going back over the footage, I didn't have to actually show you what was wrong with this guy. Well, I can show you because it's wrong with it again. So... If you look right here, this right here, this bar that slides for the lock is, is actually broken in half. You see when I'm pushing it, it's bending. So I put some JB Weld on here. I guess my first one, I didn't let set long enough. So I'm going to go ahead and get some more JB Weld on that and hopefully get that where it will latch again. So this needs to slide forward and backward as one piece. It's ideal. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to take this screw out here. We want to make sure we don't get JB Weld in that screw hole or this guy is never going back on. This little piece has been crimped on so you can't take this off to get the whole thing out. So with this you have to either fix it or replace it. We're going to try to fix it again. So you see right there, my JB well is pulling apart. Not good. Yep, it's pulling apart. It's completely separated. So with that, 
mix up my JB Weld. Now, I'm going to use probably about that much should do it right there. So, and you need an equal part hardener. So this is the steel. This is the hardener. And now I'm going to just take a little wire uh, clippy dilly. And I'm going to scrape that off. You don't want to You don't want the hardener to touch the cement near the cap or you run the whole tube. I'm going to take my hardener and cement and mix it together. You're looking for a gray consistency. Do not use anything you don't want to throw away after you mix this stuff because this is liquid steel. I think we have a good consistency there. It smells yummy. Okay, so with that on, I'm going to take, and right here, I'm going to try to get this all up in between here to make a bigger surface of contact than we had before. And pushing the JB weld in beside the screw hole. Make sure you don't get it in the screws. Or you'll be drilling and tapping it out. Now JB Weld gives you a lot of time, so you don't feel rushed doing this. Hopefully that is enough. And we'll come back and see if I didn't glue it together. That would not be good. So the next day after you've waited long enough for the JB Weld to set, you'll see that it works as one piece. So I can slide it right here and it's holding. I'm going to go ahead and put this little latch thing on. Now, when you're putting this latch on, depending on your door, it's either if your door is latches on this side, you'd put it on this way like this, and if it latches like ours does on this side, you'd put it on this way. Always start the screws by hand. Yay, no JB welding the threads. Okay. And then take my impact. Good to go. And so I can slide it down and I can slide it up and then I can lock it right there so yeah that's everything's working good you'll basically you're going to put this in and you have this latch dilly right there you have to get in and then it will drop in place now on your other side you have this little dilly and that's that needs space to slide up and down so you have a, a carve out for that and you put this in right like that once you have it all lined up on the other side you just take and slide these screws in place make sure to line them up once you get them started You don't want to tighten it too tight because you'll you could actually squeeze this and damage it. So what the mechanism looks like when it locks is this goes up and down and it will catch on this side. The reason it goes up and uh, down to unlock is because if it was coming from the other direction, you could actually lock yourself out of your house. So with it set up this actually locks good now another thing you want to make sure you do is clean these tracks because you can get well we have a hairy dog and you can get hair in them tracks and the door may not especially this large may not all the way slide over 
and then you think you locked it without checking, but it's not locked. So really easy fix on the door. So all we did was uh, we JB welded it. I showed you where it was broken to. Uh, I didn't show the original fix because camera screwed up, but that is what you saw. It, two problems. <laughs> it was all broken. And so JB weld, we fixed this. The door latches, it's closed. No more bugs coming in. It's cooler in the house. You don't yes. smell the fresh air. Or when yeah, the, I was smelling, I would tell him all the time, golly, it's been going on for a year, probably. I said, don't you smell the fresh air coming in here? No, I smelled the exhaust fumes from the uh, golfers mowing the yard. The, the golf course wow. mowing out here. I was like, I smell exhaust. I know, Why do I, I smell know. Exhaust? We should have checked it sooner, but yes. we didn't. We never used it, so we didn't think it was We didn't think that. We didn't think that. So, easy fix either if you have to replace it or you fix it. Now, also go out and check this girl's yummy recipes. Right now she is making the cabbage beans, which is a recipe. Oh, I can't yeah, wait for that. Very good. <laughs> but there's gonna be a recipe com uh, coming up, so we release them every week. And you can go back and see all the recipes we do. We have YouTube videos on the majority of them. And we also have recipe blog where all the recipe and step is written out with pictures. So go go check that out. Stop embarrassing me. <laughs> if you like this video, go ahead and give us a like. If you like this channel, go ahead and subscribe. Subscribe. It's down there too. And hit that little belly thing. Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> and hit that little belly thingy. Ding ding, you know, all that kind of stuff. Excited. Yeah. yeah. Just... And we got dogs barking. Dogs going crazy. Yeah. And y'all please take care because it's the the sunlight is going away out well, here. Well and the wind's coming out. Yes, it is. Yes. Hopefully you guys can hear us. <laughs> y'all stay tuned. Okay guys, so our brat blah. So our back our back porch. What is wrong with the camera? Did I use those little things out here? And the wind's picking up. Mm-hmm. How you doing, boys? <laughs> She's begging. <laughs>